there is a time in everyone's life when decisions are made and destinies become reality. When every choice you make determines your fate. All you've ever wanted was the chance to make your own choices, do your own thing. But when it's all said and done, one thing will be certain. You won't want to go there alone. Final exit is on its way. No one under 13 admitted. We are nearing the final destination. It is your choice. The subjects are ready. Everyone gets what they deserve. Everyone gets what they want. Freedom of choice. Doors locked. Entrance secured. No exit. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 8. Oh, dear. And here you thought you had more time. Nothing like a heightened sense of reality to get your heart all worked up. Welcome to everything you lived for. The meaning of your entire existence wrapped up into a little walk on the wild side. Because you've chosen to enter, you've given up any right to return from where you came. But hey, I'm here for you because you deserve a choice. 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 Oh, you know you do. You've whimpered and whined and given a thousand poor me speeches in defense of your freedom to have and live whatever you want. Well, good for you, because you have decided your own fate by your own choices. Let me introduce my friends. The reality is, for a long time now, they've influenced your choices. And tonight, they'll continue to guide you. Listen. Listen to their voices. Choice. And look here. You have been given one last choice. That of your final exit. The place we all come to where each and every little decision from our past decides our fate. It can get a little ugly, as it did for Kim. Kim had her own choices too. Choices that led to euphoria, excess sadness, and eventually her own death. But that's the price you pay to walk through that door. And I suggest you do, for the clock is ticking. A word of caution, however. Keep up with your spirit, guy. Or who knows how easy it would be to simply disappear. <laughs> Choices. 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 So many choices. It seems we've stumbled upon one of Kim's intimate moments. Isn't it just too bad that every one of his little choices affects someone else? Say it. But baby, I already said it. Why don't you want to say it? Come on, Kim, you know I want you. Well, then say you love me. I love you. Say that I'm pretty enough. Kim, you're pretty. You know that. Say that I'm the only one. You are the only one. I promise. Yes, there's no one else. Your parents? No, they're out of town. Chad. Oh, Chad, it's me, Katie. Katie? My best friend? Listen, Kim, it's not what you think. She means nothing to me. You mean everything. Yeah, right. We were together, but I met you, and I've been trying to call it all. Chad, Come I know you're here. Why don't you return my call? You call her, too? You jerk! Kim, I swear, there's nothing going on between me and Katie. She, Why'd you tell her that? She thinks there is, but she's living in some sick fantasy. And so are you. Come on, Kim. Chad, I didn't want to do it this way, but the doctor says that I have AIDS. What? Let me in! And I'm out of here. Kim, please. Let go of me! No, not until you listen to me. It's not true. 
Why should I believe you? Because I love you, Kim. Chad, I'm scared. No, Kate, you're lying. How could you say that? Listen, don't let me do it She's another tripping. time. Please. I know what Kim's car Kim. looks like, Chad. I said leave, Katie. I haven't been with anyone else. You have. You said I was the only one. I know you've done a bad thing, but we can work it out, right? We can make this work. I mean, I mean, after everything, we can make it work, right? Right? Go home, Katie. Don't make me do this through the front door, Chad. Katie, go home. At least look at me in the eye. Go home. Just say it, Chad. Say it and I'm gone. What do you want me to say? Say you don't love me and I'll disappear. Say it. I don't love you, Katie. It's over. Is it really all in his touch? Is she going to be back? No. I guess it is. Yes. She's gone, Kim. She's not. Katie! Oh, a little pleasure. A lot of pain. Everyone got what they wanted. Freedom. Freedom of choice. Kim got her man. Katie got her revenge. And Chad got sex with no strings attached. Unless you include the guilt that will haunt him forever. As short as forever may be. <laughs> Every pleasure has a price. It's all part of the ride to the bitter end. A ride that results in two worlds, but one choice. <laughs> Great choice of friends, Kim. Getting high really helps. The alcohol, the drugs, the music. It gives me the ability to control you, and you, and you, and Chad. Oh, Chad, what a mess you made, Chad. And you're right, she's not coming back. <laughs> Every 13 seconds, we ruin another life with a sexually transmitted disease. The one they share is deadly, and they thought they were protected. What about you, and you, and you? It's easy for us to ruin a life when the wrong choices are made. What choices have you made? This part is over. But there's another one starting in hell right now. And I have an invitation for each of you. Get out of my house, quickly. Come on, let's go, move it. You can't do that. Yes, you can. Shut, shut up. up. I hate you. Shut up. Shut up and want to clap you in the mouth. She stole. Look, I'm hiding up to here. Sometimes 
<laughs> Where it ends. <laughs> home, sweet home. Years ago, he thought that bottle made him cool, popular, and desirable. But that choice led him to a lifetime of violence, gambling, and infidelity. All necessary elements for a happy home, don't you agree? With family values like these, it's no wonder they're making such good choices. <laughs> Been spending any quality time at home with your family lately? <laughs> Don't look now, but I think poor Joey is late for class, and I hear the school bell ringing. <laughs> I own this home. And it's time for you to go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so weird. You were a mistake. Your mother should have afforded you. You'll never amount to anything, Joey, just like your father. Just like your father. Hey, look, it's the little wimp. Hey, wimp, you got a date for the weekend yet? I mostly keep to myself. I don't feel comfortable around. Get out of my room, you waste of space. Around. Joey, stop daydreaming and pay attention. Around people. I'm very disappointed, disappointed in you. Disappointed in you. Disappointed in you. Very disappointed in you. Sometimes I wish I could just disappear. You're so weird, Joey. You're so weird. Sometimes I wish they would all disappear. No one cares about you. You can do it. You learn from the music, the games. You can do it. Sometimes I think I can make them disappear. <laughs> Some people just can't seem to get enough attention. So whose fault is it? The boys, his choice of friends, those that made fun of him, his parents, the teachers, Kim, or perhaps everyone. He made the choice. He chose to listen to the music, play the video games, and everyone else chose to ignore him. What a society, huh? Mass tragedy is only one small inch away from a single lost soul. <laughs> Either way, it works for me. Because they all end up as a part of my family. There are two worlds, but only one choice. Condemned to violence! <laughs> Driven by pain. Ah. Oh. Poor Timmy. Timmy here just loved his history class. Now, he is history. <laughs> good job, Joey. Really, good job. You always wanted to be popular. Now tomorrow, your name's gonna be in every newspaper in America. <laughs> Two and a half million students carry weapons to school each day. We corrupt them while they're young with visions of death and violence through the movies and the entertainment. But it's always their choice. <laughs> Gang's over, Joey. You lose and we win again. <laughs> Kim would have been there for her brother, but she had an appointment to keep. And I have an appointment with you. Monday morning at your high school. I've got a body bag with your name on it. <laughs> School's out. Forever. <laughs> Get out of my hall. <laughs> Choices. I'm not sure what I want to do. Kim, it's no big deal. 
I've done it twice. What if it's really, I mean, what it's if not. it's... It's not. It's not a baby. Not yet. It's just, I don't know, tissue or something. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Your whole life ahead of you. Do you really want to be a 16-year-old mother? Mother. Can't tell Chad. I don't know if I want to do this. You'll be just fine, Kim. Will I feel it? It'll all be over soon. Doctor, is it gonna hurt? No, you're gonna feel a little pressure. Just relax, try not to move around. Every day, the choice is made to terminate thousands like this in the name of convenience and with the government's approval. Hey, pass me another beer. What a smashing good time Kim missed. <laughs> Did it have to end here with disaster? That is the wonderful thing about the choices of pleasure. They assure you that you are in complete control. All the way to the very end. Take this, drink that, and you'll forget all about the pain. Hey! What's up? <laughs> I guess nothing's up. He's dead. <laughs> they just have to have one more drink for the road. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. Except for this poor family. Who did nothing but have bad timing. <laughs> Every 32 minutes. Someone dies from alcohol-related accident. But it's no accident. It's all part of our plan. To kill, steal, and destroy you. You and your family. All my party friends are gone. Looks like I'll be hitching a ride with you next. <laughs> Get off of my highway. Choices. This is my friend, Kim. Watch, as I help push her over the edge. Kim, your room looks so neat. Too bad your life's such a mess. Never be pretty enough, huh, Kim? I'm so ugly. No wonder Chad doesn't want me. Chad never really loved you anyway. He used me. True love. You turned him on to drugs, and he gave you AIDS. Oh, and now, Katie's dead. Have AIDS. 
Katie, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> your parents are divorced, and it's all your fault. You could have stopped it. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I could have tried harder. All Joey wanted was a little attention. Dad, you said he was a waste of space. Dad, Way to go, no. kid. Stop it. Joey, I didn't mean those things. You were such a good mommy. <laughs> you loved your baby to death. Oh, my God. I killed my baby. You can't take this anymore, Kim. There's no reason to no, lie. Stop it! There's no Shut reason up. to live. Oh That's it, Kim. No. You can do it. No. You can do it, Kim. No. Do it, Kim. No. You can do it. No. Do it, Kim. No. I said no. do it. No. <laughs> Did it all of a sudden get a little chilly in here? Poor Kim. After all that she went through, after seeing so many tragedies come of her choices. Now keep a chin up. I didn't say she was going to know when the exit sign would hang above her head. I only said it would be up to her. And my friend, it was all up to her. Every day, 720 of my friends commit suicide. <laughs> I sense some of you have been having some of the same thoughts. Oh, my friend's gone. I need a new friend. Would you be my friend? <laughs> I take good care of my friends. <laughs> we can talk. Just you. <laughs> I need a new friend. I need Be off with you now, and be sure to say hello to Kim. I suppose it has dawned on you by now that you are good and dead, and that you now belong to me. <laughs> good choice, don't you think? So move it along, we can't wait here all night until you start decomposing. Get inside. After all, death is just a long sleep, isn't it? A cold, dark, long. Attention, attention. Prepare for descent. Make the best of your travel because it only gets worse from here on out. Death. Your final exit. It is the one appointment no one will ever miss. Soon you will be approaching God's final judgment on your soul. This will be a turbulent ride. Your sin and wickedness has condemned you to an everlasting hell. There to spend eternity with Satan in the lake of fire and brimstone. Where the torturing screams of damned souls never ends. All because you live your life for personal pleasure. You wanted things your way. But is this the price you're willing to pay? Arrival in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to hell. Welcome. Your forever home. Oh, but you thought death was just a cold, cold sleep. I can't.
can assure you there is nothing cold about it. <laughs> you chose a thrilling and pleasure-filled ride, didn't you? You had friends, popularity, sex, everything. Everything but peace. And I assure you that is one emotion that you will never feel here. Your choices have brought you face to face with me. <laughs> Don't you realize how much you deserve this? How you hated and lied and murdered all right there inside that little heart of yours. And you thought you were right all your life, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, of course you did. I told you you were right. And you believed it. <laughs> You've made your choice. You are mine. Forever, 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 forever. Satan. Forever. The Lord rebukes you. What? Where's that light coming from? Follow the light. No, you, you can't do it. Come, yes, all of you, come. Come in the light. Yes, come all back. of you, you come in. Yes, there's room for everyone. Come in. Yes, all of you, come. Yes, all of you, press in. Yes, there's room for everyone. Come to the light. Yes, yes. I have good news to share with each of you. The good news is that you do not have to stay back there in any of those scenes that you've just come through. Nor do you have to stay in that last scene, hell. Because hell was not made for you or for any person. God made hell for the devil and his angels. She had a choice, but she chose wrong. And now she'll never have another, ever. God doesn't want any of us to ever end up in that plight. In fact, God has a plan and a destiny for each one of us. And there's only one thing that keeps us from fulfilling God's purpose and plan for our life. And it's sin. Our sin nature, that part of each of us that wants to do what we want to do instead of what God would want us to do or what we should. We don't like to think about our sin or, or sin nature. And so God gave us the Ten Commandments. Not to condemn us, but to make us aware of our need for his forgiveness. God doesn't want to condemn any one of us, but he is holy. And so he said just if you could do these ten things, we could have relationship with him. And, and it says things like, do not lie and always obey your parents and do not steal but I ask you who of us have never ever held back like part of the truth or who has never acted against their parents wishes at least one time and stealing what does that take a dollar or a pen that really doesn't belong to you some people want to justify themselves further and say, well, at least I haven't murdered anybody. Uh, at least I haven't committed adultery. Until you read in the New Testament where Jesus said that if you have unforgiveness and hate towards someone, it's like you've already murdered them in your heart. Or if you look after another person with lust, then you've already committed fornication and adultery in your heart. Do you see? You see, there's none of us without sin. We have all come short of God's righteous requirement of us. Again, he wanted to condemn none of us, but instead he wants us to see our need of his forgiveness. And that's where Jesus came in. Jesus was in heaven. And he said, Father, let me go. Let me go and live as a man and show him your love. They're not making it to heaven. 
let me go and even die in their place and take their punishment for sin on me so that if any of them would see their need and ask, you could forgive them. And so Jesus came and he lived his life fully God and fully man. And at the appointed time, he laid his life down as a sacrifice for our sin. And they mutilated him like this. Oh, but do you understand? He was God. He didn't have to do any of this. Jesus said, yes, go ahead. Put these crown of thorns on my head because they're going to think dirty and wrong thoughts. That's right, blacken these eyes and bust this mouth because they're going to curse and look at things they're not supposed to. Jesus had to say, yes, nail these hands down and nail my feet down because they're going to do wrong things and go where they're not supposed to. And I'm going to want to forgive them. And when all that wasn't enough, then the Father poured his wrath on his own son, the wrath that all of our sins deserved. And Jesus died under God's judgment. Do you see? It was God's love for you and me. God said, it came to choices and God settled the issue. He said that he loves you and wants to spend all eternity with each of you. That's not in question. That's settled. The choice tonight is, what are you going to do with the awesome love of God that's been demonstrated for you even while you're in your sin? God loves you. The question is, will you love God? I chose to give my son to die for your sins because I love you. Will you choose to surrender your life to him? It is finished. What will you do with the awesome love of God? I pray that you will not despise it or, or try to ignore it. But you'd let God's love touch your heart and draw you to life in him. Oh, hear me. Jesus died here and was put in a grave, but that's not where he stayed. But on the third day, he rose from the dead and the tomb is empty. And he rose and ascended to the right hand of the Father, conquering death, hell, and the grave. And he rules and he reigns on the right hand of the Father, even as I speak. And he intercedes for each of us, asking that we would both see and be able to respond to God's love for each of us and fulfill God's purpose and destiny in our lives. But it is your choice. God will not force you. But his love has made a way and when love has been shown, it does ask for a decision. And so tonight, you will make a decision, at least symbolically, because there are only two ways out of this place. There's this wide and there's this broad way. It's filled with every kind of sensual pleasure or carnal delight, <laughs> but it leads to the kind of destruction you've seen in all of these scenes tonight. And finally, the pit, the hell, that God never intended for any of us. But because of God's love for us, there's another way, and you can choose it. It's straight and it's narrow, and it's filled with heavenly joy and fulfillment. And if you desire to respond to God's love, you can take that way and live for Him. But now you must choose. I ask you now, choose and go the way that you would spend all eternity. Go and choose where you will spend your eternal life.